Hey guys, welcome to my new video. So today's look is going to be based off of this picture, which gets requested a lot from my brides and my bridesmaids, which, you know, with good reason. It's a really pretty eye look. To start off, I want to make sure I don't have crusty lips, so I'm going to take my Aquaphor lip treatment or something like that. It's way better than any chapstick. Then I'm going to prime my eyes with my concealer and make sure you get the inner corners of your eyes as that area can be a little dark in general. And I like to use concealer as opposed to eyeshadow primer. Now just buff out the concealer into your eyes and make sure when you, after you buff it out that you set it with either a translucent powder or a cream colored eyeshadow. Also, make sure you got your Morphe blending brushes on deck because you're going to need them. I'm going to take my soft peach eyeshadow and buff that into my crease. This is, as I've said a million times, my favorite base transition color. Sadita, like she had literally like just that day gotten into it and frankly, I didn't feel like cleaning it up. So, you know, you can see her little finger scratches in all the eyeshadows. But anyways, I'm going to take the peanut butter shade from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Palette and I'm going to buff that into my crease right on top of the soft peach color. Next, to continue to build up the warmth of the eye, I'm going to take um, the color Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to buff that into my crease as well, but I'm going to use a smaller blending brush. After you add each shade, you want to take your blending brush and buff everything back out. Now I'm going to take uh, ABH Single Shadow in Fudge, and I'm going to build that on the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm praying that this black eyeshadow does not mess me up because sometimes I'm not that good with black eyeshadow. I grabbed a pencil brush. I'm only using it on the outer corner and then I'm blending it out with that, uh, with that small blending brush. Brushes I used will be listed down below in the description box, so just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Now with a concealer and a flat brush, I'm going to carve out where my lid is going to be. It's going to be kind of like a half cut crease and that brush I wasn't using didn't work so I switched to just a regular paint brush so I could get into the curvatures of my eye. And you also want to set that with either translucent powder or a uh, cream colored shadow. And I'm just going to add a little bit more black since the concealer that we added kind of, you know, covered the black that we had before. For the lid color, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush. It's like a rose quartzy kind of color. I'm not going to go in depth too much on my face. I've done my full face of makeup in previous videos. So for this one, I'm just going to kind of speed through it. I'm going to use my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade 02. To conceal, I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light. And again, this is really full coverage, which I really recommend to use for any event. And I'm going to buff that out with my Beauty Blender, of course. And I'm setting my under eye and um, setting my nose as well because the makeup doesn't stay on my nose for some reason. Now I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. My favorite, you've heard me say butter bronzer a thousand bajillion gajillion times. I'm not actually going to contour today. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra bronzer. I'm not going to add any contour powder. For blush, I'm opting for something, again, a little bit more natural. It's the Amaretto Blush from the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Face Palette. Now, to make it seem like I'm a little bit contoured, even though I'm not, I'm going to clean up underneath the bronzer. Now to finish my makeup, I'm going to take the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray, and it's the bridal one. And here's the finished look. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead and thumbs up the video, comment, like it, whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.